Nignat, what do you have for us this week? So, in the last month, uh, I think uh, we haven't really touched upon this subject. So, I thought this would be a good week to sort of talk about it. Um, right. The Amrit Pal Saga uh, is what I'm calling it. So, essentially, for the people who have been following this, there's this fellow called Amrit Pal Singh who has been... Who is now absconding? He had gone on a rampage a few days ago in Punjab, him and his followers. And uh, essentially, now there is a manhunt going on for Amritpal Singh. So, I'll just give you like a brief background of who this fellow is, what he did, and why people are after him, right? Uh, okay. So, he's a, a self styled Sikh preacher. So, he doesn't have any religious per se background. Uh, mm-hmm. There is a LinkedIn profile which BBC had linked, which uh, basically showed that he is actually he was actually living in Dubai. His family oh. run, runs a transport business in Dubai, right? And uh, he was there till 2012. And if you look at his picture, then he was mm-hmm. completely like sh- well kept, shaved, uh, okay. nice looking Punjabi boy, basically. Right. Right. Um, what happened recently is that uh, he. For some reason, uh, in August 2022, he came back from Dubai and he had, he looks like Bindran Wale. Now, oh. I'll tell you who Bindran Wale is. I know people might not know who, who he is, but so he now has a blue turban. He has grown a beard. He wears, uh, like he, he's a religious preacher now who yeah. carries a sword and, and a kirpan and a kada. So all the Sikh religious symbols. So he suddenly become this person who is doing that, right? Um, now, he is a follower of Jarnail Singh Bindranwale. Now, Jarnail Singh Bindranwale was a quote-unquote revolutionary. Um, definitions will differ. Therefore, I am mm. saying quote-unquote. Now, uh, Bindranwale used to believe that the only way to uh, essentially uh, get the pride of Sikh people back and solve the problems of Punjab is if there was a separate state, separate country for mm. Sikh people, which is Khalistan. Um, and he essentially... Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, Janel Singh Hindran, Bindranwale had a religious background, right? He was an actual preacher uh, right. who uh, was a political revolutionary and he started an armed insurgency in the 1980s. Uh, he was uh, then stopped by... Indira Gandhi in Operation Blue Star. He was killed in the process where there was this massive showdown that happened in the Golden Temple. Uh, Bindran Wale used to be an advocate of something called the Anandpur Sahib Resolution. Right? Now, Anandpur Sahib Resolution is uh, essentially this uh, uh, resolution by the Shiromani Akali Dal, which was made in 1973. Uh, it says that uh, Sikhism should be recognized as a separate religion. Uh, Gurudwara ke liye ek separate law banna chahiye. Like there should be a separate law for it. And uh, more autonomy should be given to Punjab to an extent where it becomes a separate, separate state. Right? Like, I mean, just think about Kashmir before hmm. the abrogation happened. Right? right. Um, they also said that... Uh, Essentially, so this was actually adapt, adapted in an All India Akali conference, uh, which was hosted by the Shiromani Akali Dal in Ludhiana in 1978. This is where Bindranwale actually started, right? Uh, he became basically his whole thing was that we can't talk anymore, we will start a revolution, an armed revolution. So mm-hmm. he essentially wanted a separate Khalistan, right? Now, that was in the 1980s that ended. What has ended up happening now is that this fellow, who is Amrit Pal Singh, if you open up Bindran Wale's photos, and if you open up Amrit Pal's photos, they creepily look alike. Like, hmm. it, it's crazy how much they look alike now, right? And he's right. also styling himself in the form of Bindran Wale. Right? Right. Um, and he openly admits that he's a follower and you know, believes in what he hmm. used to believe, right? Um so he, uh, so Amrit Pal Singh is a resident of Jallipur Khela, Jallupur Khera uh, in in um, Amritsar district. Um, he basically uh, then came back from Dubai in August uh, <clears throat> last year, which is 2022. 
एंड ही हैज बेसिकली टेकन ओवर एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड पंजाब वारिस डे ओके इट्स 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 लिटिल इंटरेस्टिंग दिस होल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पंजाब वारिस डे बिकॉज हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ दीप सिद्धू यस या या so last year uh, when there was the farmers protest and everything happening there was this fellow called deep siddhu who who went on republic day to the red fort he live streamed the whole thing and he was putting the khalistan flag on top of the red fort right mm-hmm. uh big controversy happened lots of accusations were thrown around all the things do you remember this yeah, now yeah. deep siddhu started so he was arrested first then he was like released and then basically he started this organization called punjab war uh, sorry waris punjab day which means right. heirs of punjab right he <coughs> died in a car accident hmm sorry he did this in 2021 not 2020 yeah. uh, he did yeah, this yeah. in republic day 2021 um now he dies in a car accident and this guy comes back from dubai and takes over this organization amritpal hmm. singh so hmm. amritpal singh also believes matlab deep siddhu was also a follower of bindran wale or to a right. certain extent but the yeah, difference yeah. was um deep siddhu used to believe in talking to people and discussing things and resolving things he was not advocating armed revolution Uh, there's actually an interview he did with barkhadat uh, about the farmer hmm. protests yeah, which yeah. which is very much a uh, uh, g- good example of this because they start talking about the farmers protests and then he brings up bindran bindran wale at some point and barkhadat yeah. is refuses to uh, sort of uh, accept him as a revolutionary and mm-hmm. he tries to make his argument and so yeah i don't know if the video is still up but it's on the mojo story uh, channel i think his uh, video went viral when he said ki why do you think we are uneducated i can talk to you yeah. in english i can do this yeah exactly so yeah. i think there was one a video where uh, which went viral shot on a cell phone where he was with a bunch of farmers and he was hmm. talking to some politician in english and then the it cell went after him saying ki ye kisan aise hote hain angrezi bolne wale kisan exactly exactly <laughs> so, yeah. exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly so that yeah. that is deep siddhu so he died in a car accident um and then amritpal there took over the conspiracy theories about that also by the way there are and yeah. then that yeah. is yeah. also connected to siddhu muse uh, what muse wala uh, not oh, okay. yeah. forget his first name yeah uh, yeah he was also yeah, shot yeah, right so yes yes, yes yes siddhu muse wala right so yeah. he there is like connection between that also because siddhu muse wala did a song uh, two songs dedicated to uh, deep siddhu uh, uh-huh. and basically also like sort of propagating how punjab needs its own state etc right 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 um, so it's like tupac and yeah uh, Biggie. yeah yeah Yeah. notorious it, yeah. it's it's yeah. it's a little murky the whole thing right, okay right, right, of course right. there are conspiracy theories but for now let's just say it died in an accident sure. right yeah. um yeah. okay so then deep siddhu uh, sorry amritpal comes in he takes over punjab war is day and changes the whole thing entirely into an armed revolution now okay. what is happening is that he wants to start a separatist movement a violent separatist movement to have a separate khalistan um he again as i said he uh, resembles bindran wale hmm. and bindran wale is someone who had killed thousands of Pun- people in punjab uh, when when he was doing the revolution so he is basically yeah. also advocating that now hmm. um <clears throat> he uh, his followers Uh, keep doing these protests which are very violent in nature and then they keep using guru granth sahib which is the religious text of sikh as a shield right. so the right. police are not able to do anything and a lot right. of police have said that every time we go and try to stop them they bring up the book and we can't right. really disrespect the book hmm. uh, so yeah. it, it's it's this bizarre scenario where the police is looking extremely inefficient hmm. in in this case right hmm. um <clears throat> in november 2021 uh, they held a long procession across punjab to encourage sikhs to become baptized to to become baptized right uh, through a ceremony called the amrit ceremony uh, he also wanted them to forego drug consumption and also <coughs> ditch customs like caste and dowry right right but that quickly turned into like a super aggressive mob that mm. is just rampaging across punjab right hmm. um in 2021 december he 
his he and his followers uh, vandalized properties of gurdwaras and opposed <clears throat> chairs being placed in front of the gurugan sahib so elderly people were sitting on chairs so they literally like picked up and threw the elderly people out and said ki tum chair nahi bat niche mm-hmm. baitho mm-hmm. right? right so that happened then in february 2022 which was last year um a huge mob of his supporters have had attacked a police station uh, which was on the outskirts of uh, amritsar they were brandishing swords and using the sikh holy book as a uh, shield shield yeah they barged in and they wanted their uh, this guy called lovpreet singh to be released he was an accused in a uh, molestation case uh, and and he was also a follower of <clears throat> amritpal so they wanted right. the police to guarantee that he will be released so okay. they basically just attacked the police station mm-hmm. right <clears throat> now i'll just come to the latest updates and mm-hmm. what the allegations are mm-hmm. now the recent case against amritpal is that he has been gathering weapons he and his followers have been uh, actively gathering weapons to start mm-hmm. this armed revolution right mm-hmm. um so he has been registered under the arms act after a huge cache of weapons was recovered from him from his aid across punjab right um so official sources say that he has been maintaining close links to pakistan intelligence agency isi and other terrorist groups which are based abroad uh he is also said to be close to a uk based khalistani terrorist called avtar singh khanda uh and he is believed to be the key factor behind amritpal so he is getting support from uk and also right. certain khalistani element from canada okay right? um he, and one worst thing that i would read about this is that he is actively going around a saying ki nahi drugs nahi lena chahiye etc etc and promoting the addiction centers they found out that these the addiction centers were actually weapon centers so okay. his followers mm-hmm. were actually people who were in these de addiction centers he's taking advantage of their mm-hmm. vulnerabilities and also using the centers as storage of weapons storage. right 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 uh so as of now uh if this whole thing started on march 20th uh, mm-hmm. we are on april 3rd so fifty uh, mm-hmm. around two weeks ago mm-hmm. uh, there there has been a massive chase around Punjab mm-hmm. where uh, they have been trying to find where this guy is. He mm-hmm. has issued a video, two videos, three days ago, uh, where he is essentially saying that I am not a fugitive, I am a rebel, I have not run away. Even today, I am with my community and supporters. I am not going to run away from the country. I will come in front of the world soon. I do not fear the government. do whatever you want to do and uh, police have also sort of identified the location of one of his uh, social media managers uh, and he is also like uh, in some dera in hoshiarpur district so what they are doing is they are actively trying to figure out where he is and till now it hasn't been successful some videos hey. randomly surfaced i think those were misinformation where he is uh-huh. in delhi then someone was like oh he's in up somewhere um so it's it's very bizarre what is happening like with with this whole chase sequence um news has been not really obsessed about this but when they do report on him they're like are kidhar hai amritpal and then they show like 16 locations kidhar bhi ho sakta hai amritpal kidhar hai amrit are what are you doing man like like all major cities of punjab they keep highlighting is like idhar hai kya amritpal are what <laughs> so Anyway, so that is the whole mm, right. I mean, there is an entire segment of Re- Republic journalists, <clears throat> right? He is saying today I'll tell you kidhar hai Amrit Pal, and then he says yeah. kidhar bhi ho sakte, udhar bhi ho sakte. Ah, uh, but Meghna, is this uh, like, uh, and also Kalim, you can uh, chime in on this. Uh, uh, so obviously, I never. I, I was never witness to the uh, the separatist movement in the 80s, right? The Khalistani movement. Mm. But from whatever I've heard from journalists and my my parents' generation, they said it was a very dark time. Like it was almost like mm. Punjab is gone, mm. and mm. then they co- sort of like salvaged it somehow. Mm. Do you think this is on path to being a resurgence to that? And also, second thing, there is this. very weird pattern that farmers protest happens the media starts pushing media and the government starts pushing the khalistani uh, agenda mm-hmm. and then now <clears throat> and then now this 
right so is there it's, a it's very strange i was looking this up, but sorry uh, before i continue i think i made a mistake a while earlier i'm confusing okay. the years i think i we are in 2023 and i keep think saying last year it was actually in 2021 when he came right, right. Uh, to dubai and then the whole sequence of events happened right i think i right. said 2022 before anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so i was looking this up abbas where um, so there is this amendment to the uapa law which happened uh, i think 2 years ago right mm. where uh, under the uapa there is a schedule where the government can declare certain organizations as terrorist organizations and ban them right Right. So the amendment that was made in the UAPA was that now individuals can also be included in this uh, schedule, right? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> if you look at uh, this particular organization, Varis Pathan Day, right? Yeah. Var- Varis still... Punjab Day. <laughs> Varis. <laughs> Varis Pathan is an AI <laughs> politician. Who <laughs> 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 at the time of recording has not been is not under the UAPA. <laughs> वारिस पंजाब दे दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन थैंक यू फॉर दैट करेक्शन सो आई वाज चेकिंग बिकॉज थिंक अबाउट इट राइट लाइक यू नो इन इन अ क्लासिकल सेंस दे आर बेसिकली गोइंग अगेंस्ट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया बाय सेइंग दैट वी नीड अ सेपरेट स्टेट राइट व्हिच इज बेसिकली एंटी नेशनल 101 इन द सेम शेड्यूल राइट um harvinder singh sandhu hmm. uh he is a part of the banned list of individual terrorists uh and his organization which is babbar khalsa international hmm. was also included in this whole thing right Got so it. your whole thing which which you were um, basically alluding to about this whole hmm. are khalistani movement ho gaya and then the media hmm. gets the hmm. bit crazy about the whole thing hmm. like farmers protest ke time pe it became very convenient also exactly yeah, yeah yeah right to sort of yeah. tag these people as khalistanis yeah. and yeah. you know do this but now if you look at it when actually someone is doing khalistan khalistan yeah. it's very bizarre the coverage is very muted yeah. right yeah. there's this literal terrorist running around now yeah. who is getting help from pakistan canada uk like there is an international conspiracy for real right, right? yeah and whenever the coverage happened like i saw like one or two very quick videos about about this right ek to that republic thing which i saw right hmm. which is kidhar hai kidhar hai kidhar hai bhagwat man kya kar raha hai uh, right that is where it always ends up of course yeah that this is the aam aadmi party government's fault yeah, that yeah, that yeah, yeah. this guy has come up and this whole thing has happened so yeah. now bindran wale uh, sorry not bindran wale hmm. shit Amritpal is essentially uh, like this uh, very convenient thing to use against the Aam Aadmi Party government Correct. in Punjab, yeah. where the police is actually looking helpless, hmm. and they're like, "Oh, what are you doing?" Right? So it's it's very I find it very strange how uh, this whole Khalistan issue is treated by the hmm. media. Right? Yeah, like as a movement, it is a separatist movement. So yeah. I would I would actually say that it is similar to what happens in Jammu and Kashmir. Hmm. So the same amount of force that you are putting in Jammu and Kashmir to stop this, you right. should be doing the same thing in Punjab, hmm. right? Exactly. Hmm. But they are not. Like the army is not saying anything. The uh, CRPF is not doing anything. The police is expected to chase this fellow down with his thousands of followers who have hmm. weapons everywhere across Punjab and right. do something about. It. and right. the worst thing is that he has actually threatened the home minister himself he's like ki main tumhara wahi hal karunga jo indira gandhi ka hal hua tha um mm-hmm. you know so it's it's really uh, worrying and also i'm very confused in a lot of ways i don't know about mm-hmm. you guys mm-hmm. 